This is New Day Northwest. Welcome back to the show. Someone really needs to tell a mother nature that this crazy weather is just not cutting it. It is almost spring, which should mean chicks and bunnies and tulips. If anyone has sway with Mother Nature, it's my next guest, Green Thumb Extraordinaire, Cisco Morris is here. Oh la la! To help us prune roses, which is a very, very delicate task. It is a delicate you task. You can kill a rose bush by doing it wrong. Well, not really. I have, Cisco, I have. I mean, I'm unbuttoning my jacket. Get ready to prune, let's do this. Okay. Well, you know, this is, you know, this is the time to prune your roses right now. Okay, so, right now. Well, Even with this nutso weather? No, let's wait till it warms up a little okay. <laughs> for us and the plant, really. <laughs> okay, all right, that's fair. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, so you really do need to get out there and prune them. And if you don't prune them, this is getting a lot of dead stuff accumulating. And I, now, I just dug this out of Mary's side of the garden this morning. No, you didn't. <laughs> Cisco, but I talked to you about that. She, she I gave, don't want Mary getting mad at me. <laughs> she gave me permission this time. I want it in writing next time. <laughs> I need to see it in writing. Okay. All right, so Mary said she gave you permission, and you dug this out. And yep. What's going on with it? Well, it's in too much shade, it's one thing. Okay. I don't think she pruned it last year. There's a lot of dead on this. So okay, we need to get off. Okay, now you're giving Mary shade. I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> so are the, well, I guess it's only fair because these are like some buds from last year, yeah, right? Yeah, those are the rose hips. You know, it's not bad. You know, it's not bad to leave some rose hips on because it tells the rose, go dormant. Stop trying to grow oh, that's in fall. Because once it goes to seed, it knows it did its job. It reproduced, it thinks it did. And so uh, if I you leave it. some of those on, they go, okay, I can take it easy and lay back for the winter time. Okay, I love it. Now, if we're gonna start pruning, is there a time, like you, you said we gotta wait till it warms up because this frost warm, it's not good for it, right? Well, what we don't wanna do is prune this and then have all sorts of new growth start and then have a hard freeze hit it. Because some people say that pruning roses at like President's Day is the way to go, but I feel like it would be a little too cold for it's that. too early, I too think, early. because okay. this is a perfect example. Well, it, it was freezing at President's Day, so I doubt many people did it this year. A lot of times it's warm. People get out there, prune the roses, get all that new growth, and we get a freeze. Big trouble for the rose, you know? All right. Let's get pruning. Okay, you need to wear those special rose oh. uh, pruning gloves. These are gloves. serious. These so are, you've had gloves before, but these are like. These are special for like, pruning roses because I want people to know, if you get pricked by a mildewed rose, you can get a disease. What? It's, it's rare, but about 250 people get it every year in the United States, and you end up in the hospital. They'll, they'll cure you. But that would happen to me. It, I would definitely get the rose mildew disease. Okay. Yeah, so good you got these on. Who knew? Okay, okay so you want to be the muscle power in this yeah. today? All right. Okay, the first thing we got to do. What do we got to do? We got to cut off the dead stuff. Now, I don't know what the I best. I get that. Yeah, best I shot. That. You, oh, you, whoop, careful. All right, sorry. I, I, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm on the guard on here. So this uh, one? Uh, a little farther down if you could okay, like you really get at the it root? in there. Yeah, All right, let's yeah try. that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, not bad. All Thank right, you. I'll get that out of the way. Here, I'll get it. Okay, great. Oh, wow, that is really prickly. Yeah, okay, another dead one here. Okay, so, so we're cutting all the ones that have turned first brown. First of all, you're going to get everything brown off there the best you can. And, okay. uh, you know, it's a little it, harder here in this pot. Outside, you're moving around, you know. So here's another guy. All right, get him. All yeah. right, I got this. And then, uh, so... This is really satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. Now, now, there's something to notice about this. Okay. This is still green and pretty healthy. Yeah, so what do I do? So, we're looking for an outward facing bud. So, uh, outward maybe facing I could show, bud? here's a bud. I don't know if you got, oops, sorry. No, it's okay, we don't know if you can zoom in on this bud right here. That's gonna be hard. Oh, right there, yeah, there's no way we can see it. It looks yeah. like a little round. Oh, you can see it, yeah, look at so, that, so that. You always want to cut the one that aims outwards so that the new, that's the way the new branch will go. You don't want it to go back through the middle and crowd it. Got it. So you, now where do we cut it? Above or so below that? Above that. Above so it. So if you cut right above that guy. Wait a minute. Here, you want to get this guy out of the way? Yeah. Oh, wait, we're going to cut all any? these? Yeah. There's okay, an outward so, facing Okay, so I bun. cut right, right here above, above that. that. Yep. 
Oof, Mary, I hope I don't mess up your rose bush. Oh, good cut. And using loppers is good for this. This is very fun. All right, now, do you see an outward facing butt on that, this guy? Yeah, I, I see we'd... one here. Okay, we'll do there. Okay, yeah. Okay. Poifix, as my <laughs> so French fun. teacher used to Poifix. say. Poifix. <laughs> All right, and so on this one that's dead and green, yeah, maybe, the outward facing ooh, butt right way there. Way down there, okay, yeah, what the right. heck. All right, okay. we're getting there. So uh, we just got to keep chopping away. You might as well finish so this So now I, every time I see a little hole, a little sky right here. Yeah. Did I know it right? Okay. Yeah. This is great. Um, so I'll look for an outward facing bud for you on this. What about um, the little little suckers that come up underneath the oh, graft? Yeah, those are a pain in a kazootski. So, That's what I was thinking. They come on, so a lot of these are grafted. This rose was grown on its own roots. So you don't get those, Got or it. if you okay. do, they don't matter. But uh, so, and you know what? I think we'll cut this little guy you off. You want me to cut that guy yeah, too? Yeah. Should I cut it right there? Yeah, cut it right there. That's okay. a great bud there. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So this won't crowd now. Okay, we got one last one here. Oh, it's hard to see with all these little uh, thorns. It is. Uh, boy, let's see. Ooh, this is I, a tough one. I think there's one right there. So, so okay. Before so, I let you go really quickly, let's talk about right. what happened in my roses once that I had. I used to have all these beautiful mini roses. They were really hard to prune, but they all got diseased. What do you do to keep roses from getting a disease? I learned this trick from my grandma when I was growing up, Maud O'Hara. You had to call her Maud O'Hara. I love that her and, name was Maud O'Hara. Yep, yep. And uh, if you didn't call her Maud O'Hara, she chased you with a broom. Okay. So you, <laughs> Okay, Maude. You had to do it. No I don't what. blame her. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you know, uh, a lot of times people don't prune their roses so hard as I do, and there's le old leaves on mm -hmm. there. You want to get all the old leaves off and rake up all leaves. They have disease on them, and they'll sporulate. Okay. But here's the real trick I learned from what? When the new growth starts, so all these are yeah. going to grow. Yeah. When the new growth starts, as soon as it gets 11 inches above the ground, you pull off all the leaves within them. What? A, you leave the ones above 11 inches. The reason you do that is because spores land on the ground underneath the plant and the, they germinate and the rain splashes Anything them into the low leaves. Anything 11 inches down, off. Yep. Cisco, thank you so oh, much. La, la, oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> And thank you for spending time with us today. You can check our website for more of our content. You can always send us an email and share your thoughts. But most importantly, get out there and enjoy your new day. We'll see you next time.